Taglines. I love movie taglines. They're designed to grab your attention and in as few words as possible, they aim to capture your curiosity and scatter a clue or two as to what the movie may have in store for you. Some taglines are witty and clever. Take From Paris With Love, for example, starring John Travolta. That film's tagline is Two Agents, One City, No Mercy. I mean, even though that film was a bit shy, you can't deny that tagline is a work of genius. But a tagline doesn't have to be fancy, clever or anything else like that to get your attention. Sometimes simple works best, and I think Disturbia has a great simple tagline. Every killer lives next door to someone. Disturbia stars Shia LaBeouf as Kale. Tragedy strikes when a father-son bonding trip ends with a devastating car accident that leaves Kale injured and his father dead. A year passes and Kale is clearly struggling to deal with life after the accident, which comes to a head one day when he punches his Spanish teacher in the middle of a lesson, after his teacher made a passing comment about his father. Kale is sentenced to three months house arrest following the incident, tagged and monitored 24 hours a day and unable to leave the property under any circumstances. His mother Julie, played by Carrie Ann Moss, starts to get sick of his lazy attitude and cuts off his creature comforts, and cabin fever slowly begins to set in. Things begin to get a little interesting for Kale with the arrival of a hot new neighbour that he begins spying on, and subsequently begins spying on his other neighbours too. As Kale begins to adjust to his predicament, we get snippets of news reports of women going missing in the area. A little bit of exposition tells us the police are looking for a vehicle of interest, a 1960s blue Mustang with a dent on its side. One night, while Kale is chilling in his room, he peers out of the window to see his neighbour, a Mr Robert Turner, returning home, driving, you guessed it, a blue 1960s Mustang with a dent in its side. Kale then explains to his best friend Ronnie and his new neighbour Ashley his theory that maybe Mr Turner could be the serial killer the news is reporting on, and thus begins their mission to uncover the truth. Now, let's face it, Disturbia is far from original or groundbreaking. It's essentially a Gen Z remake of Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, and draws heavily from Joe Dante's The Burbs. But, I really do like this film, and the ones that it's inspired by too. I've always loved the setup of these types of thrillers. You think you may have seen something that leads you to put two and two together, but can you actually be sure of your assumptions? And I love the processes of evidence gathering with these types of films as well. The stakeouts, the spying, the surveillance gathering, etc. And considering this film is set in 2007, we get a great blend of useful technology our protagonists get to use, but nothing that gives them a huge edge over the problems they face. You can feel the excitement and the thrill in the characters as they uncover things piece by piece. Well, that is, until shit becomes all too real and soon the excitement gets replaced with fear and terror. Now, Shia LaBeouf is quite the divisive actor, but I think he's amazing in this film. I hate using this term, but there's a lot of nuance to his acting in this. His portrayal of his character is quite impressive, to be honest. Seeing him go from the happy normal teenager in the opening, to a lad who's now dealing with a lot of anger issues and unexpressed grief of losing his dad, especially considering the way that he died but he's still a teenager underneath it all. He's awkward, a bit frustrating, and a bit creepy. Well, a lot at times, but he also shows a caring and loyal side too. There's a great scene where Ashley confronts Kale about him spying on her, and Kale does his best to explain himself. Shire's acting is near perfect in this part. His mannerisms, his stutters, they all feel perfectly timed, and he manages to convey it in a very endearing way. The writing for his character is top-notch, to be fair. And as for the writing, there's some brilliant and tense sequences in this film. There's a really cool scene where Kale gets his best friend Ronnie to do recon at Mr Turner's house, while Ashley tries to keep tabs on him as he shops at the local hardware store. And another great scene where Kale thinks he might actually be witnessing a murder taking place at the suspect's home. And these tense moments are broken up with some genuinely funny bits as well, such as the local kids terrorising Kale, knowing that he can't actually do anything back to them given his current situation and the banter between him and Ronnie is great, and the flirting between him and Ashley is kind of sweet, but there's too much of it, which brings me to my main issue with the movie. Disturbia clocks in at an hour and 45 minutes, which is a great length for a film like this, but it spends more time than it should focusing on Kale's obsession, for a lack of a better word, with the new neighbour Ashley. I mean, I get it. He's a teenager and the lad's gonna perv, but the time spent on this could have been better spent developing more intrigue and mystery for our antagonist. 
I really wanted to see more of David Morse as Robert Turner in this. And I think if they'd have devoted a little more time to him rather than Cale and Ashley, the film might have been a little bit more evenly balanced. But all in all, Disturbia is, in my opinion, a very entertaining film. Its set pieces, while simple, are really well directed and written. The characters are quite interesting considering this is just a run-of-the-mill teen thriller and I do think Shia LaBeouf knocks his performance out of the park. I think it's better than the sum of its parts and it's what I call a good steak and chips kind of film. Simple but very satisfying. If you like these types of films then I think you'd be pleasantly surprised with this one. Definitely worth a watch.